Welcome to Heartland Family Adventures. Today we invite you to join us for dinner at Tiffin's Restaurant, a signature dining experience in Disney's Animal Kingdom. This restaurant is known for its international cuisine and decor inspired by global influences from Africa, Asia, and South America. The restaurant has three beautifully themed dining rooms with artwork, paintings, and sculptures inspired by the designs from Disney Imagineers, the ones who created Animal Kingdom. This restaurant is open for lunch and dinner from 12 p.m. to 7 p.m. and advanced dining reservations are highly recommended. Nomad Lounge is located right next to Tiffin's, which is also an amazing spot to enjoy some specialty cocktails and appetizers with a few of the items from the Tiffin's menu. If you're new to our channel, we welcome you to join our family of subscribers. We post new Disney content every week, including park vlogs, dining reviews, family activities, resort tours, and more. We hope you enjoy. Some of the popular items from their menu include the signature bread service, charred octopus, shrimp and grits, braised short rib, and surf and turf options. During our visit, we ordered the High Tower Rocks specialty cocktail, as well as the signature bread service appetizer that came with a red pepper hummus, spicy coriander yogurt, and a ginger pear chutney. For our entrees, we ordered the tamarind braised short rib and the shrimp and grits. Cheers, friends. We are at the Tiffin's restaurant in Animal Kingdom tonight. Uh, so we, are good. we started off our meal with some bread service. We got some bread service with three different sauces. Yeah. In the Nile, so we started off with a drink. This is called the High Tower Rocks. And I asked for something a little bit less sweet. And this one is um, has a Blanco tequila, watermelon puree, a sweet sour, and lime juice. And it's very, very refreshing. Not very sweet. Get the nice tequila coming through. The watermelon is very fresh. Um, it has the lime juice. Very, very nice, enjoyable drink. Very refreshing after a long day at the park. Three different kinds of breads here. And then you've got a red pepper hummus, the spicy coriander yogurt, which is kind of this green colored one. And that one's supposed to be a little bit spicy. And then the ginger pear chutney. So we're gonna try these out and see what, see what you think. And there are three different types of breads as well. Nice. You can see how they're served here. So there's three different sauces and the different breads. Okay, so I'm gonna try the red pepper hummus first. I'm a big hummus fan. Trying it with this is look kind of like the pita bread. Oh, that is delicious. You can get the, really get the red roasted red pepper coming through. Really rich flavor. And this pita is delicious. It's got a very like, firm forward flavor. That's very nice. The smell, when they brought the bowls to us, like it just smell like wafting. This is like some nice sweet smell from the bread. And I think, I think it's this one. It a, has a really nice sweet smell to it. I'm gonna, so I'm gonna try it with the pear chutney because I feel like that one will probably pair nicely together. Mm. That's really good. Yeah, some bread. You can see it's kind of got this like nice net nuttiness, like caramelized on the on the crust. And it's nice, like whole grains, really spicy, sweet bread. Really soft, but it's it pairs really nicely with this pear chutney. That's delicious. Okay, and then I've got this kind of more like a harder cracker for the third bread. You see it's like really crisp and thin. I'm gonna try this with the spicy, <laughs> the spicy coriander yogurt. See if it's more like a dip and chip kind of thing. <laughs> Look I did. It kind of reminds me more of a Look tortilla chip. Look I did. Hmm. Look I Not did. the texture of a tortilla chip at all. 
We're really light and flaky. Very nice. Very light and flaky. Oh, and this coriander is a spicy coriander yogurt. It's not very spicy at all. It's got a little bit of like subtle heat to it, but um, very, very nice. These, these are super crispy and really nice with that coriander yogurt dip. It's, that's delicious. I love the crunch. And then you get the pop of the burst of the flavor with the yogurt. Mm, that's, that's good. I think mm, my favorite out of the three might be, I mean, the red pepper hannas is packed full of flavor. I like that red pepper flavoring. But this bread with the with the pear chutney is a great combination too. I think out of the pairings, those are the those are the ones to try together for sure. Okay. I'll try the same combinations you did. <laughs> See if you, if you like it like I did. So which one are you trying first? Mm -hmm. Oh that 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 yeah that bread with a nice crust. Mm -hmm. So you put that with the pear chutney. What do you think? A lot of flavor. Yeah. And crust. That crust is like packed with flavor. Wow. I love the pear chutney though. It just get that the sweetness. Mm -hmm. It needs the... a little. It actually, I think it a little bit of spice in that. Mm -hmm. I think it needs a little mm -hmm. sweetness. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, I like it with that. Mm -hmm. Try the. Trying the pita, kind of like pita type bread. <laughs> oh, no. yeah. Yeah, that's a very good hummus. Yeah. Pita is. Hmm. It's a nice kind of like those kind of herbs in there. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, it's like in, in, the, in the bread. Very good. Yeah, that's a delicious. Mm. Yeah, you may have one. That's great. I know, right? I, I, I would like took a bite thinking it was like a tortilla chip and it's mm. not at all. It's more... Um, it's like more crisp. Yeah, kind of like... Lighter. Kind of lighter, kind of more like, like a like cracker. in your mouth. Yeah. It's really good. That's excellent. Yeah, let me try to bite. What do you think, buddy? You like the cracker? Nice. And it is beautiful in here, by the way. It's very dim lighting, but they have really beautiful decorations on the walls. You see all these insects and butterflies and just bold, vibrant colors and backlit designs. It's really pretty in here. It's, and it's uh, super quiet in here too. Like we can easily hear each other talking, enjoy our meal. Uh, the food so far is starting off really great. Oh, what'd really you what'd you get to drink, honey? Oh, yeah, I got a Cabernet. It's from South Africa. Mm -hmm. The wines are all uh, they're either from South Africa, Argentina. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, these are Argentina and South African wines. Mm -hmm. So this but, was a South African yeah, wine. Yeah, I usually like I like some South African wines I've tried before, and I always love a cab, so mm -hmm. I'll give it a try. It's good. Nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you like it. Have to go nice well with your dinner too. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. So we're a little behind. Didn't get Emma's meal right away, and too late. Ooh, and it's gone. Yeah. So <laughs> good thing here though, we were honestly. Our one reservation about this restaurant was kind of the kids' meals seemed a little more um, exotic. <laughs> um, the best option seemed to be that they had grilled chicken, but our kids, like a lot of kids, would you know they really just want chicken, chicken nuggets, chicken tenders. And our waitress actually suggested, "Like, no, we can make them as as like chicken nuggets." So that's what they brought. And it's just chicken nuggets, rice, and it's like Henry's taking over the fruit he bowl. He took over the fruit bowl. <laughs> but Emma has devoured the rice, one of her favorite things. So it worked gone. out great for our kids. <laughs> right, Henry? You like your fruit? Yeah. Yep. And little chicken, like nice little chicken nuggets. Perfect yep. for the kids. Okay, so I got the uh, tamarind, tamarind braised short rib. This looks absolutely amazing. It does look amazing. Look at that glaze on here. And I got it with broccolini. I substituted, it comes with a parsnip puree. I got broccolini instead. Um, and then it also comes with roasted cauliflower and then a, um, yeah, just, let's see, medjool date vinaigrette, <laughs> chipolini onion. So you see like we've got some fancy like little bits kind of over the roasted cauliflower and the broccolini and this, this amazing looking sauce on here. It looks really, really good. Now I'm gonna get into my short rib. This looks really good. You can see how tender this is. Mm. It just fl flakes apart. It like, looks, looks great. Mm. That meat, that short rib is excellent. Whatever sauce, this is a nice smoky, sweet rub sauce on here and this meat is just falling apart. It's so tender. 
Yeah. Very tender, very flavorful, but not too fatty. You know, it's a short rib, so they can tend to be, you know, a little on the fattier side, but this is a really nice cut of meat. And yeah, this, this sauce on here is fantastic. It's a nice, like, deep, like, like smoky, smokiness, like almost like a, there's a spice, a smoky spice to it. Not like our Kansas City barbecue, like the sweet molasses. It's, it's mm. like a sweet, it's a sweet smokiness to it. Mm. Very good. Some of this broccoli. Mm. Broccoli is perfectly cooked, very nicely seasoned, just like what you would hope for. I'll try some of the cauliflower too. Roasted cauliflower. It's a nice color on it. It's like a golden yellow color. Oh. It has a nice flavor to it. Definitely very like roasted flavor. It's got a sweet, sweet, really nicely cooked. I'm curious to see what this is. I think it's just like yeah. a little fancy. Oh, it's sweet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Combination of flavors. I'm gonna try a little bit. Try to get a little bit of bites together. Mm. That goes really nicely together. It was excellently really prepared. Fresh vegetables, nicely cooked, and then the sweet, rich, hearty um, short rib. That's that is excellent. That's definitely re definitely recommend this year. It's really good so far. Nice, nice meal so far. <laughs> Very good. It's Henry and Bambi. He loves his new Bambi. <laughs> so I got the shrimp and grits. This looks fantastic. Um, it comes with applewood smoked bacon, heirloom tomatoes, and smoked pepper jams, described mm -hmm. as. Looks really good. It's plated very, very well. Decided to dig into this. Yeah, take a bite. Let's see what you think. Get one of these. Should we get some grits? Get one of these. Try shrimp. to get a full bite. Look at that shrimp. Mm -hmm. That's a big shrimp. <laughs> yeah. And the waitress did warn me. She asked me if how you do with spicy. And I said, well, how spicy is it? And she says it's just like a medium, medium salsa kind of heat. And got some heat to it. That's accurate. It's got a little bit of heat, but it's not it's not overpowering at all. Yeah. It's kind of nice actually. I like that mm -hmm. little bit of heat. Mm -hmm. The flavor is excellent. Let me get that bacon. And just kind of that spice rub on the shrimp. The grits are creamy. creamy. Good. Hmm. Not as good as the way, but, but they are good. <laughs> Overall though, this is an this is an excellent dish. Um, and this is a little bit a little bit of sweetness that got into the heat. Yeah. Nice. This is absolutely delicious. Yeah. So far, so good, right? Yeah. Okay, so now that we've finished, i say the shrimp and grits was delicious. I finished the whole thing. Um, I definitely liked it. I will say, it's not, I don't think it's for everybody, though. It's It, it definitely did, did have some heat, number one. It wasn't wasn't the spiciest thing I've ever had. But it also had those kind of African spices. It was, a, it was a unique flavor. And I really enjoyed it, but not for everybody. If you want a safer dish, I think the short rib that Sam mm -hmm. got, that was delicious. Just that, you know, you describe it. It was, mm -hmm. that was delicious. Yeah, I let him have a bite of it and he was just like, oh my gosh, <laughs> that <Yeah>. was so good. <laughs> it was just kind of tender with that sweet, smoky kind of sauce mm -hmm. and just delicious. Yeah. So overall, I think it was a great experience. Mm -hmm. I, I definitely like the vibe in here too. It's yeah. a quiet restaurant, which is sometimes hard to find in Disney property. Mm -hmm. um, they gave us a nice big booth. Corner booth. Yeah, yeah, we're really separated from the rest of the restaurant, and yeah, it's just it's just a nice environment. Thanks for joining us for dinner at Tiffin's and Animal Kingdom. We'd love to hear from you, so please let us know in the comments below if you've ever dined at this location and your favorite thing to order on their menu. 
We hope you have a magical day and we'll see you next time. Thank you.